Morning, it's Emily Taylor here. It is a Tuesday morning. What is the date? Uh, the 21st of September. Um, normally this is on a Monday and I had physical therapy <laughs> and I had um, some other stuff to get to get done. So here we are. Um, I'm sorry to make that change. Sometimes that's just what happens with life, right? Um, I am excited to share with you some announcements. <laughs> First of all, um, last week, as you know, I launched the pre-orders of my book, my new book, which is called Collage Quilter Essentials for Success. Um, it is still available. It, it's still available for pre-order, but I have some really good news um, due to my cost. So I'm the publisher of the book. And because my costs were less than I thought, I have been able to reduce the price. Um, so now the book is $29.99. And um, if you purchase the book at the full price, I will be giving you a refund. <laughs> so um, I know, call me crazy, but I just feel like my customers are so good to me and have given me the privilege of being an author. And so I, um, I'm i really excited about that. So anyway, uh, just that's the news. Um, the book is available. It will be shipping in October. And I couldn't be more excited about it because we just, um, as you know, I just finished it up and I've been kind of reviewing and looking at it and I'm really, really thrilled with it. And I'm super excited about the projects that are in it. Um, so I want to say hello to everybody. And by the way, um, if you are an international customer, I know shipping is a lot of times a pain in the butt and super expensive. So if you um, contact me and can confirm that you are out of the country, I will make sure that you get a copy of the book uh, without paying for shipping. So there's that, okay? Um, now I have, so how you order the book, Joan just asked, um, you can order the book only from my website right now, which is collagequilter.com. So at collagequilter.com, go to, uh, you can buy it in the shop there or under learn, it'll be under, under the education tab as well. So um, I'm that's that's the exciting news for today. So again, those of you who have already purchased it at the original price that was thirty five dollars, you will be getting a refund. Um, and anyway, OK, so that's that. Uh, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. It makes me so happy. I really look forward to coming online and seeing you and saying hello. So um, let me dive right in um, and just explain a couple things. Uh, first of all, the book has really consumed me. And so I couldn't be more happy <laughs> that, it's, that it's now done. And my family is ecstatic too. We're going to celebrate the fact that that's done because life just kind of goes on around me while I'm working on a book. And um, this was this was a huge, huge project, a huge endeavor. So I feel like I can kind of get back in the groove of being a normal person and running my business. And um, I am looking forward to doing a quilt along in the Collage Quilter Academy group very soon. So we got suggestions last week from, from you all who said that they, um, you, what were kind of some of the things you were interested in um a fall table runner and also something for christmas so let me just show you what i've started it's not very far along but i that's part of why you're here to see what i'm working on um so uh this now it, i haven't pressed it down this is a parchment pressing design that i'm working on but hopefully you can see that so what this is, these are going to be uh, pumpkins that you look from, you know, a very vertical angle. There you go. I don't want to, I don't want to hold it up too much because I don't want the pieces to go sliding off, but that's the beginning of it. Um, 
and I will be able to really focus my efforts and energy on that now on that project and getting that done ASAP um, just in time for hopefully, I mean, I'll have it done in time for Halloween, but it, the idea is that it will be for Thanksgiving and fall. I love November. So that's that. Um, and then um, I also do want to announce that I will not be here next Monday, um, nor will I be here on October 4th. Um, my husband and I are heading out on a vacation. Hallelujah. <laughs> I have dessert. I, I've earned it. And also this was a vacation um, partly to celebrate my parents' 50th wedding anniversary. So it's been in the works for two years and it got postponed from last year. So I will be going um, with all of my siblings and my parents and celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. So anyway, um, I will not be here. I mean, maybe I'll check in. I don't know. Maybe I'll check in from uh, where will I be? Lake Como next week. <laughs> um, and then after that, I'll be on uh, the Rhine River. So anyway, um, that's that. Um, when I get back, we will be, I will be very focused on making sure that we do some great projects and sharing. Um, we'll do, we'll announce a quilt along and, and it will be great. Okay. So I, one thing I wanted to do today was answer. I get lots of emails and lots of questions from people in the Facebook groups and on YouTube and whatnot. Um, so I want to address a few of the top questions that I get a lot, and hopefully this helps you. If you have a question, don't hesitate any, you know, don't hesitate to either write it in the comments or uh, email me, emily at collagequilter.com, because I love to look at your, uh, your, your questions and provide you with an answer, because it's really, really important for me that you have success and that you enjoy your process of collage, um, textile collage as much as I do. You know, I absolutely love it. I'm passionate about this. So, um, oh, Teresa just said, what is a quilt along? Well, let me just tell you what a quilt along is. So what we will do uh, in October, um, we will be, uh, the quilt along will be a kind of a group project. So in the Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group, um we i will give you parameters we'll talk about we'll, we'll be working on all of us the same project um i will also be doing giveaways and tutorials specifically geared towards that project um it's really nice too because then you can join me and um we'll do some zoom back and forth so that i can see you and you can share your projects with me anyway so it's it's a really good way to learn how to do a collage with um, with me and also to be part of a community that's doing it together at the same time. So that's going to be the quilt along. I'll, we'll talk more about that in a couple of weeks, but I hope that you'll plan on participating because it's a great experience. It's a great way to learn um, how to do it. And it's really, really fun. So uh, let's see. Okay, so the top questions, some of the top questions that I get. Um, number one, can I wash a collage quilt? So this is a great question and one that I get a lot. And the answer is yes, with some caveats. So as you know, a collage quilt is made by overlapping pieces of fabric, um, one on top of the other. Um, all the edges are left raw. And then when that quilt top is all collaged, the idea is that you, so all those pieces are adhered and then we quilt that like a traditional quilt top. So one thing, so because it's all raw edges, you've got to remember that you've got to have some tolerance for fraying. So a collage will wash up, but it will, it will soften and it's made of fibers, you know? So there will be some fibers that soften and fray slightly. Um, I have, but I really, really like that look. I think the texture of fabric once it's been washed softens it up a lot. And um, so that's something to consider. Um, I will share with you, I've done this before in one of the YouTube videos that's posted, can I wash a collage quilt? And, it and I show examples of what it looks like 
after you've washed it. Um, so the other really important thing to keep in mind, in fact, the most critical thing when you are doing a collage quilt that you intend to wash is dense quilting. So when I say dense quilting, I mean no more than a half inch and a half inch is probably too much. I recommend even tighter quilting, a quarter inch about um, is, is really good. So that the quilting really tacks down everything. And um, that's, my, that's my recommendation as well as using a permanent adhesive, like either permanent fabric glue or my preference, which is light steam seam too. Okay, so there's that one. Um, I just wanted to tell you all hello. I'm looking at your comments and looking at your hellos and it makes me so happy. I love to see, I love to see where you're all from. You guys know that, that we've got um, people that join us from all over the world, which is really, really fun, isn't it? That we can be a community of, um quilters and artists from everywhere so thank you so much for joining me from brazil and south africa and texas and um portugal and california and uh kentucky and canada i love it um tracy i'm leaving today so today later tonight my husband and i are flying out so um we'll be in italy we actually yeah so we'll be there this weekend um, okay, so the next question that I want to get to is um, the next top question is where do I get started? I am new at this and I would like to learn how to do collage quilts. Where do I get started? So I have a relatively new blog post on collagequilter.com that says where do I get started? So go to that blog post. It has great resources and that's what I've tried to do is provide resources for people who want to get started in making collage quilts. So from that blog post and from my website collagequilter.com there are tutorials about anything you can think of and if I haven't addressed your question in a tutorial contact me and I will but um, so there are tutorials there, there are articles, there are photos, um, supply, I sell supplies and patterns and books on my website. And then also you can get the links to all of my social media, which YouTube has a lot of helpful videos, as well as the, um, I can't emphasize enough, the Collage Quilter Academy Facebook group is a great free resource. Um, to work with me as we're working on a collage and also the Collage Quilter Facebook group, which is a really big, broad group that has lots of aspiring collage quilt artists as well as the professionals that we all admire. So those that's where I would recommend getting started. Head to um, my website, look at that blog, and that will provide you with all the resources and tools that you might need to get started making uh, get started with uh, textile collage. Okay, so the next question that I'm going to answer, and then I'll just scroll through and make sure there aren't any more questions. Um, how it, it relates to fabric. I get a lot of questions about fabric, like how much fabric do I need? How do I, you know, where do I find it? I need to learn about fabric. So this fabric is kind of the crux of my philosophy and what I like to teach people about collage quilting. Um, ultimately, I I want to think of collage quilting like um, I want to approach it as an artist would, having an understanding of color theory. Um, and so that's when I do a workshop and in my new book, I talk extensively about color theory and really understanding and applying those principles. So the principles are creating contrast through um, color and value and temperature. And when we grasp that and then can, can apply that knowledge about color theory to fabric selection and to application, fabric application, um, our that guides that helps a lot. And so I think you need to have kind of that foundation in understanding color theory before you jump into selecting fabric because um, that's the primary, that's, we use that knowledge to select our fabric. Now I have lots of kind of tips and resources about 
how to purchase fabric, where, you know, what I look for as a collage quilt artist, what type of fabric I look for. Um, there is a free video tutorial on my Teachable platform. So my I do have paid video courses that are on demand and it's on, um, oh, I can't ever remember the stupid website. <laughs> you can get to it from collagequilter.com. Um, go to learn and then uh, you'll go to the, the Collage Quilter Academy paid videos. But there is a free video in there that is really worth your time about uh, purchasing fabric and what to look for. So I recommend that to, to learn more about fabric. And again, I have to give a plug for the new book because I talk a lot about fabric and what I look for, what I stay away from, how to think like an artist as I'm selecting fabric. Um, and, and really, I say this all the time that collage quilt making the way I do it becomes a little bit like paint by number with fabric once I've selected the fabric. So the actual collage part is really relaxing and fun. And the part that is a little more challenging is selecting the fabric. So anyway, that is, um, that's that about the questions that I wanted to address. So can I wash a quilt? Where do I get started? And tell me about fabric and how I find fabric. Oh, somebody just mentioned your fabric bundles are the best. Thank you so much. So one thing that I've done too, to kind of help um, people who are looking for fabric um, for use in a collage quilt is we, I curate bundles that I sell on my website. So those bundles have, they're according to color. And what I do is I cut, we order all the fabric, we cut it in, um, eighth of a yard strip so that's four and a half inches by the width of fabric and we put 18 pieces in one color bundle and that color bundle has um all the way it ra it ranges in the spectrum from light to dark and warm to cool um so i hope those bundles are helpful we're just bringing in uh orange now so uh we've got purple green blue red pink I think brown is sold out right now and orange will be here soon and then we'll do yellow. So um, anyway, that's that's that for fabric. So um, let's see, Karen said, thank you. Oh, let's see, have a wonderful, safe, blessed trip. Thanks, Karen, I really appreciate that. I can't tell you how much I need this vacation and my husband needs to spend time with a woman that is not a crazy lunatic. I tell you, I am a really intense creator. And when I have a task like getting that book done, I, I just, I'm hard to live with. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. So um, anyway, that's that. Let me just scroll down and make sure we don't have any other questions that I can answer right now. Because remember, it'll be three weeks from yesterday. So I'll be gone for the next two Mondays, but then we'll be back with our uh, weekly uh, live videos. Okay. Um, it's so great to see you. Thank you guys so much again for, um, for your support always. I really am grateful. I love it. I love what I do. Um, okay. I'm just looking at questions. I want to make sure I've answered everything. Thank you, Beverly, for ordering the book. Hi from Virginia. Um, let's see here. Okay. North Wales, Joe, welcome. Joe Williams, welcome from North to welcome from North Wales. Um, or I should say, welcome from Sandy, Utah. <laughs> Great to see you. Uh, and Teresa from Portugal. Let's see here. Uh, Tracy, I'm, I told you I'm, I'm going to leave today for my vacation. Oh, Evelyn from the Netherlands. Welcome. Great to see you. Um, okay, looks like I'm just looking to see. Okay, so one person just asked, will you ever offer patterns in other sizes? Some of your pieces I, pieces I would love to make, but in smaller sizes. So great question. I have tried to, re I've actually reduced the size of the Cactus and Sublime and June Bloom. Those are all smaller than the originals because of your feedback. 
Um, and one of the things is when you do a parchment pressing pattern, those are generally entirely, the size of them is entirely up to you. Um, so I do, I will keep that in mind and I'm, I will happily try and make smaller patterns for you. Um, so another person just asked, do you have a bundle for specific quilts? So what I'm going to try and do is because I use all the fabric that I purchase, that I curate. So um, that's what I use in my collage quilt. So I will be updating all of the patterns to indicate which fabric bundles I've used um, with each uh, quilt that I've created. So for example, the orange here, you know, the pumpkin, I'll, um, I'm using some of the orange now. And when, so I'll provide a link to the bundle that we've used in that. So I hope that Hope that helps. Um, thank you so much for purchasing the fabric, you guys. I appreciate that. And I'm sorry that it takes, sometimes we run out because we cut it ourselves. And um, my, anyway, <laughs> we, I've just kind of, things have been difficult around here. Um, oh, let's see, Viv just said on a future chat, could you spend some time discussing learning from our mistakes? I seem to make many. Oh, yes. I'm so glad to know that you want to learn about this because I have really strong opinions and about the importance of making mistakes so that we can move forward. Um, I have really tried to embrace the idea of making mistakes because that's how I learn. Um, in fact, I was just having a conversation with somebody yesterday about the importance of as an artist and a creator to be okay with imperfection and to be okay making mistakes and producing work that we're not satisfied with. Um, I think the, the uh, most common tendency for amateur artists is to become um, really obsessive about not making mistakes. I think we tend to overwork things instead of doing a project and then recognizing, okay, well, it's not perfect. I'm gonna just, that's good enough. I'm gonna leave it and move on. I think as amateurs, we tend to, you know, we won't leave it alone until we feel satisfied. And um, I've learned to, to just set that feeling aside, do the project, complete it. And if I'm not happy with it, that's okay. I'm going to come back and I'm going to learn what I can learn from it. So anyway, we will, um, we will be talking about that more extensively, Viv, on an upcoming uh, broadcast. Uh, let's see. So someone just mentioned that they're waiting for the horse. The horse is, we, we have it. We've just got to get it packaged. So that will be, um, updated and available on the website again soon. Okay. So that's that. I have to go get ready to pack. I mean, I have to go pack and clean my house because it's been really neglected while I was working on the book. Um, but, um, that's that. So, I want to wish you all well. I hope that you enjoy. I hope you're enjoying beautiful fall weather where you are. And um, I hope to see you again soon uh, in a couple weeks. Okay. So thanks again for being here. I will talk to you later. And